Professional photography is not just nice to have, it is necessary to have. Hi, my name is Marissa and I'm a real estate agent here in Appleton, Wisconsin. I love making content about all things home and real estate. And today we are talking about professional listing photos. Professional photography is a non-negotiable for me, so it is actually included in my commission when I work with sellers and it is something that I really think is necessary and sets you apart in the marketplace. So the first thing that I have is from realestate.usnews.com. It says that same study found that homes listed between $200,000 and $1 million sold for $3,400 to $11,200 more compared to homes without professional listing photos during that same period. These days, our first showing is online, someone had quoted. And I think that that is so true. You need to make a good first impression. You might be thinking, well, that's crazy how many people actually just cannot look past the listing photos and then they don't go see the house. There are more than you think. It is very important to have a good first impression out there. So many buyers are starting their home searches on the internet or using the internet as a tool to find their next home. So it is very important that photos are top notch. Just how many buyers do you ask? It says 99% of buyers between the ages of 24 and 57 years old who use the internet to find homes in their home buying process in 2022. So I'm sure they have to have the 1% outlier there, like hand sanitizer says kills 99% of germs. But let's just round up and say that 100% of buyers are looking online to find their next home. Even if they're working with a real estate agent, they're still looking online. I have several, several clients who send me Zillow listings or realtor.com listings, even though we have an email search set up for them. People love browsing on the apps and sending listings to their friends, family, their agent. And so nearly 100% of buyers and even people who aren't ready to buy yet are looking online. Before they're even ready to buy, they are looking online. This stat is pretty interesting as well. Even among the oldest generation, 77 to 97 year olds, 84% of people use the internet during the home buying process. So it's not just an age thing. It's not just younger buyers getting into the market. Legitimately, all buyers of all age ranges are using the internet to find their next home. Now, just how many real estate agents actually use professional photographers? Only 35% of agents employ professional photographers. Now, don't get me wrong, our phones take incredible pictures and we have come a long way in terms of technology, but cell phones still do not capture the property in the way that real estate photography does. There are so many photographers out there, they each specialize in something, whether that's portraits or family photos or headshots or action shots, weddings, etc. You get the picture. I think that a lot of agents stray away from professional real estate photography because they think it is so much cheaper to just do their own photos and they think that they look good as is. But I have noticed a huge, huge difference in hiring someone to do the photos. It takes a lot of stress off of me. They specialize in it. It looks amazing and I can use the pictures for future marketing. Plus, personally, I spend around $150 to $200 per listing on real estate photography. And in the grand scheme of things, if you think about it, if you're getting your clients thousands and thousands of dollars more, your commission, if it's based upon the purchase price, you are getting that money back for sure. I think that real estate photography is a fantastic investment and a fantastic thing that you can do for your sellers in order to make their listings stand out and sell quickly and sell for the most amount of money possible. And I truly, truly believe that you make all of that money back in the end. Now this next stat is also alarming, but half of over $1 million properties use poor quality photographs. I have seen multi-million dollar properties with cell phone pictures and it irks me so much, so much. There are so many ways too, just besides photos that you can make your listings stand out in the marketplace, whether that's drone photos, twilight photos, or even video tours. I think all of that, it's truly marketing. I mean, real estate is public relations, marketing, sales. 
It is not just one thing. We do have to wear many different hats. And I do believe that anything that is visual and digital is going to be even more prominent as we go on. Now let's take a look at some of these other statistics on how fast listings sell with professional photography. These, by the way, are all from a website called photoup.net. Um, so that's where I'm getting my statistics from besides the real estate news one that we touched on in the beginning. Um, but about 32% of homes with high quality photographs sell faster than those without visuals. Homes with a single photo spend an average of 70 days on the market while listings with at least 20 images sell within one month. That is just nuts to me, okay? Nuts, 20 images. So I would say about 20 to 30 is like the magic number right there. Obviously, if you have a larger listing, you're probably gonna need more. Um, but definitely we have all seen those listings with five or less photos and no one really wants to take the time to go and see those. Also, professional photography has an impact on offer prices. Homes with professional photography typically receive 47% higher asking prices per square foot. Twilight photos, I personally have not done them yet, but this stat might convert me. This is pretty crazy. Using a twilight image as the listing's main photo averaged 76% more views than listings without the use of twilight images. Twilight photos are also super common in higher priced homes. It says that twilight usage overwhelmingly leans towards higher priced homes, 59% towards homes 500,000 and up, 32% for homes 300 to 500,000 and 8% for homes 100,000 to 300,000. And I totally can agree with that. I think that more expensive homes typically have more outdoor lighting and landscaping. And so it makes sense that higher priced homes would be the ones that more likely have the twilight photos. So I hope you found those stats really interesting. I really enjoyed researching them and reading about them. I have and will continue to utilize real estate photographers in my listings. And it's also a really great gift for your sellers and sometimes even your buyers as well. I have made photo books out of the listing photos, um, whether that's someone selling their first home and just to have the memory of it or a photo book before they do renovations. I think photos are just so, so important. I'm really big on photos and preserving the memory. And I just feel like that visual just takes your professionalism to the next level. Now I wanna do a fun little survey in the comments. So if you stuck around this far, thank you so much. And if you have used an app or the internet to look at homes in the last 60 days, leave a comment below and let me know. I think it will be really cool and really crazy to see just how many people are looking on the internet at homes even if they're not in the market to buy. Everyone loves looking at homes. Please give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new and you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.